Hello everyone. Welcome back to the course of data structures using C. This video is brought to you by Newton's group of institutions, Macharla. This is Arvind Egredi from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today, in this video, we will discuss uh, some of the sorting techniques. So a sorting algorithm, which is used to rearrange a given array or list of elements according to a comparison operator on the elements. So here the comparison operator is used to decide the new order of the elements in the respective data structure. So by sorting the data, it will be easy to search through it very quickly and very easily. And here the simplest example of sorting is a dictionary. So before the era of internet, when we want to look up at a word in a dictionary, we will do so in the alphabetic order. So that made it very easy. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the bubble sort algorithm, insertion sort algorithm, merge sort, quick sort, and uh, selection sort. So we know the importance of the sorting algorithms. So here, what is a bubble sort algorithm? This is one of the oldest and simple sorting algorithm technique. So here, in this particular algorithm, comparison-based algorithm in which each pair of adjacent elements are compared and the elements are swapped if they are not in the order. So here, when I say order, I mean that it is going to sort the elements in the ascending order. So this algorithm is not suitable for larger data sets as it's a average and worst case complexity are of order of n square and where n is the number of items. Now, let us see how this bubble sort is going to work. So here, we take an unsorted array for our example, which is consisting of five elements, say like this, uh, 14, 35, 28, 39, and uh, six. So here, the bubble sort starts with the very first two elements. As we know that the bubble sort takes order of n square times, where n is equal to five in this particular case. So here, in this case, 14 and 35 is being compared. So here, 35, which is greater than 14. So it is already in the sorted locations. Next, in the what we are going to do, we are going to compare 35 with 28. So we find 28, which is smaller than 35. Now these two values must be swapped. So once after swapping, now we need to compare 35 with 39. So here 39 is greater than 35. So it is already in the sorted location. So no need to swap. Now in the next, we need to compare 39 and uh, 6. We find that 6 is smaller than 39 and these two values must be swapped. So here we find we have reached the end of the array and after one iteration, the array should uh, look like this. So after the end of the first pass, the array will be like this. So here, if you can notice that the largest item after one pass, the biggest element, one biggest element came to the end. Okay, so in the second iteration, what we have to do? Again, in the second pass, we would once again start comparing the first two elements. That is 14 is compared with 28. So here, 14, 28 is which is already greater than 14. So here there is no need of a swapping. Next, we compare 28 with 35. 35 is greater than 28. So no swapping is required. So next, we, we compare 35 with 
six. Six is smaller than thirty-five. So swapping is required. So once after swapping, what we have to do? We have to compare thirty-five with the thirty-nine. So again here, thirty-nine is greater than thirty-five. So no swapping. So after the second pass. The array will be like this: fourteen, twenty-eight, six, thirty-five, and thirty-nine. So, if you can notice, after the second pass, the two biggest elements. So, in the first pass, thirty-nine is there. In the second pass, thirty-five, thirty-nine. So, in the third part, again, what we have to do? We have to compare the first. Two elements. So here we compare fourteen with twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is already greater than fourteen, so there is no need of swapping. So in the second case, again we compare twenty-eight with six. So six is smaller than twenty-eight. So we need to swap. Next, we need to compare twenty-eight with thirty-five. So here thirty-five is greater than twenty-eight, so no swapping is required. Next, we need to compare thirty-five with thirty-nine. Thirty-nine is greater than thirty-five, so no need of swapping. So after the third pass, uh, the array will be something like this: fourteen, six, twenty-eight, thirty-five, and thirty-nine. And in the fourth pass, again, what we have to do? We have to compare the first two elements, that is, fourteen and six. So fourteen and six. Six is smaller than fourteen. So what we need to do? We need to do swapping. So Six fourteen. In the next, we have to compare fourteen with twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is already greater than fourteen, so no need of swapping. Next, we need to compare twenty-eight with thirty-five. Thirty-five is greater than twenty-eight, so no need of swapping. Next, we need to compare thirty-five with thirty-nine. Thirty-nine is greater than thirty-five, so no need of swapping. So after the fourth phase, the sorting order will be like this. So six fourteen, twenty-eight, thirty-five, and uh, thirty-nine. So this is the sorting of uh, elements in the ascending ascending order. So if you notice, after each iteration, at least uh, one value moves to the end. That is thirty nine here. In the second case, thirty five. In the third iteration, twenty eight, and in the fourth iteration, fourteen. So here, if you are going to do the Sorting of uh, n elements, then n minus uh, 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 n minus one iterations you have to do. So automatically the last one will get its uh, position. So this how we can do? We can do with the help of uh, loops. That is with the help of uh, iterations only we need to sort the elements. So here it is just consider for i is equal to Zero. So when i is equal to zero, we will be sorting the first element. And for i is equal to one, we will be sorting the second element. For i is equal to two, we will be sorting the third element. And for i is equal to four, we will be sorting the fourth element. So in this case, we have five elements. So we have to sort only four elements. So automatically the fifth element will make to the or move to the appropriate position. So from this our logic will be something like this. That is for i is equal to zero, i less than n minus one, i plus plus. So here what is i? I value. Until i value less than n minus one, that is, what is n value? N value is five. Five minus one is four. So i less than four. That is, until the i value is equal to three. That is, for i is equal to zero, one, two, three. What we are going to do? We are going to execute this particular loop for four times. So with the help of the inner loop only, what we are going to do? We are going to sort the elements. That is first element. What we have to do? We have to sort. So how many times we have to repeat? Again the same story. That is for j is equal to zero, j less than n minus one, j plus plus. So with the help of the inner loop, we need to perform the sort operation. 
here we need to compare the first two elements that is if the first element is greater than the second then we have to swap that is if arr of j greater than arr of arr of j plus 1 then we need to swap and how to swap with the help of the temporary variable so here into the temp first we are storing the arr of j value then into into arr of j we are storing the arr of j plus 1 element and into arr of j plus 1 we need to again store the temp value so this is the logic what we are going to use for bubble sort now here to swap n values that is here n value is 5 but we need to swap only four elements so automatically the last element will get swapped so we have to decrease the n value so so to need to, to swap the last element which is already sorted we have to write the logic uh, something like this uh, that is for j less than n minus 1 minus i so what is i in the first case i value is 0 so here n 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 is 4 4 minus 0 is 4 so until j value less than 4 j value less than 4 means j can be equal to 0 1 2 and 3 so this is the case now in the second iteration what is i value i value will be 1 that is j less than n minus 1 minus i that is 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so 3 3 means j less than 3 means it j value can be 0 1 and 2 so only 0 1 and 2 three times uh, we are going to compare the last one there is no need because 39 is already been sorted so in this way we can what we can do we can decrease the value so gradually when the i value increases the size of the array gets decreased so this is the technique what we are going to use in bubble sort for sorting the algorithms understood thank you that's all for now if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest notifications thank you